am Juice Panda, Paul Panda. My name is Mitch Natman. And we are Iceland. Today in beautiful Hillhead, South Carolina, at the qualifying Olympic round of 16. That's right, 17 teams are here, but only 16 will advance. With us today is the team from Iceland. Please tell us your name. Hi, I'm Mitch Nachman, and this is my good friend, uh, Jusvin Dahlbender. Dahlbender, Iceland, we don't know much about it. Please tell us, where in Iceland are you from? I'll let you take this, Jusvin. Well, you see, if my manly chest were mapped, I'd be somewhere in this region. <laughs> wow, that looks like an interesting place. Tell us, what is it like there? Well, it's uh, mostly ice and land. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I believe our viewing audience really wants to know how did you get involved in ping pong in the first place? Well, it's uh, very sporty. Very sporty. The balls, they go back and forth. And Mostly, mostly back, but but we love the balls. Playing ping pong as a child must have been really different. How, how was your childhood? Mr. Netman, what's it been like here in Hilton Head? There has to be a lot of distractions for you. For this one, and the men and the women. Yes, mostly the men. Those are very attractive uniforms you have on. Care to tell us anything about them? They were designed by uh, Sports son of Vengor. Yeah, Vengor. Son of Vengor. Great, and... great man. Yeah. And he thought this would accent Bolbinder's unique asset <laughs> and then mine isn't as tight as you can see but yeah I like them well 17 teams here and 16 advancing what do you think your chances are of making it to the Olympics I would have to say strong to quite strong tell me Mr. Juicebender Bobbender Mr. Netman how tough is your training regimen? We train like every day. Every day. We have morning sessions, noon sessions, Ready and backhand, and forehand between the legs, mid morning sessions. Mid moon session. Reach backhand. Forehand. And get it now. Get into it. Get into it. Yeah. Go. <laughs> In that game you had against the Russians. They were mean. They called a whitewash. What was it that you said, Mr. Juicebender Balbender? They called us the whitewash? They call it whitewash. Yes, that's an illegal move to call because, see, we were in the right. I said, no, thank you, I've already done my laundry. <coughs> in the second round game against the Chinese, you got skunked and skunked. How did that feel? It skunk. In the third round game against the Argentinians, tell us about the point that you won. Well, that was near the end, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, they started off with a serve like I have not seen before. Yeah, some, some, some 
something fun. I returned it. Yeah, you did, net man. I returned it close to the net, and then they so they hit it back, and Bobin the bent the ball into their table. How was that match like? Very grueling. Yeah. Um. It started when we actually saw the Italians into the complex. Yeah. 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 Yes, that's right, Netman. I would have to say that the Italians are probably our, our most hated rivals. And they're greasy and they don't know how. They're greasy, they don't know, they see if they, they get their mohawk like this and, and they just, just arm hair. Yeah, and then everywhere. They just kiss. Who are they blowing the kisses to? Who are they blowing them to? They don't have sporty they women. They talk like this, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, I'm Massimo and like, hello, I'm, I'm like, hello. I hate them. You sound a little bitter, is, is there a reason for that? Yes. Yeah. We lost. We lost. So there's 17 teams here. 16 moving on. One had to go home. Sorry to say that you guys didn't make it. What, what's in your future? Yes. Well, I would say that during the day at least, I like to look forward. At night, I'll survive. Love. 